Welcome to Martinsville. It's the final race of the round of eight, and 40 cars are ready and set to take on this race. And here's the answer list. 40 accounts are also ready. And here's the starting lineup for Group A. Looks like Chris Buescher from fourth is going to have the lead here. Oh, he's into the wall, and it's going to be Chase Elliott leading lap one. Buescher falls back quite a bit. So two laps to go. Buescher falls back to fifth after having the lead, and his RFK, RFK teammate was into second. Two laps to go. Chase Elliott gets turned. It's going to be Brad Kozlowski leading that lap with one lap to go in Group A. Ty Gibbs moves into second. Busher rebounds back to third. One lap to go. And at, oh, Ty Gibbs gets turned. And at the line, it's going to be really close. It's going to be Brad Kozlowski winning Group A. Chris Busher is teammate second. And Harrison Burton gets the final transfer spot as A.J. Allmendinger will be the first DNF of the day. And here's the starting lineup for Group B. Oh, Tyler Reddick from fourth is going to take the lead away. He spins in front of the field, and Tyler Reddick leads lap one. And how about Michael McDowell from eighth? Passes six cars and moves into second. Two laps to go. Reddick with the lead. He puts McDowell on the wall, and it's going to be Tyler Reddick leading this lap now with one lap to go in Group B. Bubba Wallace in the third, and Kurt Busch in the fourth. Larson falls back to fifth. Reddick with the lead. He gets turned by his teammate. He's in the wall. It's going to be Kurt Busch, the other 2311 car. He will win Group B. McDowell second. And it was really close for third. That goes to Tyler Reddick. And here's the starting lineup for Group C. It's really close here. It looks like William Byron, is, he gets turned, and it's going to be barely Kevin Harvick at the line, edging out William Byron. And I believe Kyle Busch passed Byron as well. Yes, he did. Logano falls back to fourth, but it's Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, one and two. And Harvick's in the wall, and Kyle Busch goes to block Logano, and at the line, it's going to be Kyle Busch. And Joey Logano was into second. Kevin Harvick falls back to third. So now we have one lap to go in Group C. Kyle Busch in the lead, trying to make it to the championship four. Kevin Harvick from third takes it away. They're going to be side by side at the line. Give it to Kyle Busch. Kevin Harvick second. And how about Austin Sindrick grabbing the final transfer spot? And here's a starting lineup for Group D. Three JGR teammates in this one, all fighting for a spot in the championship four. Bell has the lead. He puts Hamlin in the wall. They spin, and it's going to be Ryan Blaney from third place. Three wide, avoiding the spinning cars to take the lead away. So two laps to go. Bell second, Hamlin third. How about Noah Gregson in the fourth? Bell with the lead again. Oh, this time he blocks Blaney. He gets turned hard into the wall. They're three wide at the line. Oh my goodness, that was a massive hit for Christopher Bell. He falls back to second, but it's Ryan Blaney taking the lead back away with one lap to go. And it's going to be a drag race. Oh, they make contact. Blaney's in the wall, and Christopher Bell will win Group D. How about that? Oh man, Denny Hamlin comes up one spot short. It's going to be really close if he can make it. He's almost even in points with Ryan Blaney, who advanced. And how about Eric Amarola advancing as well? So there's the starting lineup for round two. Christopher Bell from fourth has it. And they go in the wall. It's going to be Christopher Bell edging out the 67 car. He will lead lap one. So Bell first, Kurt Busch second, and Ryan Blaney moves into third. Four laps to go. Oh, this is a really tight race here. And at the line, it's going to be Christopher Bell edging out Kurt Busch, who edges out Michael McDowell. Oh, my word. Three laps to go. 
Christopher Bell still has the lead. Christopher Bell's locked in on points, so he, does, he doesn't have to worry about the win. But he sure does want to go for it. And Kurt Busch gets turned right at the end, so Bell keeps the lead. So now we have two laps to go. The top three remain the same. Tyler Reddick fourth and Eric Almirola round out the top five. Bell once again showing a big lead here, but it's Tyler Reddick. How about Reddick from fourth place? He will have the lead with one lap to go. Tyler Reddick comes out of nowhere. He has the lead over Christopher Bell. Kurt Busch falls back to third, Blaney in fourth. They're sliding. Bell's in the wall. Ryan Blaney from fourth is going to win at Martinsville. Unbelievable. He advances to the championship four and knocks Denny Hamlin out. Oh, my goodness. A four-wide pass as all the Toyotas wrecked. So Blaney wins, and also congrats to Bowman Fan 48 for winning as well. And here's the results from Martinsville. Blaney winning was not scripted. I filmed this before the actual Martinsville race. And here's the final car points. It's going to be Martin Truex Jr., Ryan Blaney, Christopher Bell, and Kyle Busch will be your championship for next race at Phoenix. And here's the final account points. It's going to be East Tournament Gaming, Citron 23, Upper Groove Racing, and McMahon. We'll all be in the championship for next race at Phoenix. And there's your four cars and four accounts that will all be racing for a championship next week in the final ramp racing season.